My number one is Sing Street from 2016, directed by John Carney, starring Frida Walsh Pilo, uh, Jack Renor, Aidan Gillian. Uh, quick logline A boy growing up in Dublin during the 1980s escapes his strained family life by starting a band to impress the mysterious girl he likes. So I put this movie on my list because this movie really captures this this theme that we've been talking about is that when you're at sc- in school or or even in high school, so much of your life is about finding your passions and the people that you know band with you in those mm-hmm. passions. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I really connect with with that. Like for me, music was my thing. Uh, so I was part of the music club wherever, whatever school I went to. And like I said, I moved around a lot. So my immediate entry point into any new school and new city that I showed up in was through the music club at that school. Um, and then in college, in addition to all the music stuff, I was also the co-chair of our magazine and did a whole bunch of sort of intercollegiate sort of festivals across whether it's science projects or, you know, debates or dramatics, I was always in the scene sort of doing a lot of stuff. I was not the founding member of these things, the way Max Fisher is, but I was very much involved. And Uh this was serious. Like these people and us, like we spent nights like rehearsing and really putting our, you know, hard heart and sweat and blood and energy tears even Mm -hmm. Uh, who gets to sing what song and who's representing the school or the college and what festival, like all of this stuff really mattered. So I think this movie really captures that, that how this, this, this boy who, you know, doesn't come from a very happy home, but finds Mm -hmm. these other kids in a very organic way. And I love those initial like 20, 30 minutes of how they're, you know, forming their friendship yeah. over their shared love of music and, you know, shooting these DIY music videos. It's just so charming. And, and of course I wasn't doing that at that level. I wish I was, but it, I always, it brings a smile on my face. And then of course, you know, them meeting this, this girl and how he falls in love with her and the music and the shooting of the music videos, all sort of part of it. Uh, and, you know, in a way he finds his voice and a, a bit of a safe haven uh, mm-hmm. through music and through these friends. So yeah, that's what this movie always stands for. Um, it's also a very powerful sibling movie, like the scenes that oh, he yeah. and his brother have. Like when I watched this movie in the theater, I was, bawling uh towards the end for sure uh because he has this sort of older brother to look up to who's distant but when they finally start to you know connect in a real way uh that's such a big part of the movie Mm -hmm. great music i mean john carney obviously knows what he's doing when it comes to music you're transported back to this time so yeah uh, a very enjoyable movie but with just a lot of heart um, I could go on and on about this movie. So that's Sing Street at my number one. Yeah, I'm glad you put this on the list. I actually, as someone who loved John Carney's Once so much, yeah. one of my favorite films, we've talked about already. I've actually never seen a single one of his other films, <laughs> which is weird. Um, so I'd never seen this before and I, I thought it was fantastic. Um, I think just from a school standpoint, especially like the first 20 minutes of him kind of getting taken out uh, of his current school and moved to a new one and how he kind of adapts mm-hmm. in that, you know, when oh, I that was too, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure you related to that a lot yeah. with changing schools all the time. And I only had to deal with that once where my parents took me out of public school and put me into private school in sixth grade in a school where like that was the last year. So these kids who had been together for, you know, seven years or whatever, they're graduating. I'm this new kid thrown in right at the last minute. And just like what that feels like. I think this yeah. captures a lot of those, a lot of those feelings. Um, so I thought that, yeah, the beginning was great of how he finds his group. Um, of, of guys and they're also funny and like uh you know love again all love this music um that is this like early 80s um kind of like uh british uh post-punk like romantic kind of movement stuff right um but uh yeah it was i, I love that um and uh you're right about the the brother relationship thing was just just fantastic i mean i don't i don't i'm the eldest i don't have an older sibling or older brother or anything like that um uh, but just that speech that he gives about like look i went there i I plow, I, I made the path so that you could then get your dream. 
um, is just such a powerful, powerful moment. Um, and I was not expecting that character to be who he, like in the beginning, he's sort of making fun of his brother and like kind yeah. of seemed like the, you know, the dropout, like fail son, basically. Um, and then you re- realize there's so much more to him and how, how he really inspires his brother so much to get into this music and to push pursue his dream. Cause he realizes that's his role um, as you know, the older brother, like he, you know, put the path there and he's going to now going to has to push his younger brother off to fill his dreams. Whereas yeah. he, isn't you know his dream i guess is to help his brother in a way it's not to necessarily succeed on his own but uh and he's also being a bit of a parent because yeah the parents are kind of out of the picture and right. they have so much of their own stuff to deal with mm-hmm. um but yeah i love those scenes when he you know you need these truth tellers in your life especially in that time yep when you know you can almost sort of start posing in a way that oh i'm into this music but you haven't really you know, put in the time to understand right. it. Cause how could you, you you're mm-hmm. young. Right. So mm-hmm. I think those dialogues, when he's telling him that, yeah, watch this, listen to this, like this, if you're really into it, like live it, breathe it. Like that's really important. Uh, so I didn't have that, but I, right, I was right. happy to, you know, just vicariously live through that, those moments. Yeah, totally. This is also a genre of film that I, that I really like too. It's the, putting a band together genre um, so of good. like how bands form. And then there, I, I just love those types of films. And this, this is a great job of capturing that, especially just a unique way of capturing it too, because these are all like high school students. This isn't a real band. It's not really about necessarily their band becoming big. And like now yeah. they're on the cover of whatever they're on the top of the pops. No, it's like how they're growing up and they're being friend. Uh, they're learning about friendship and themselves and love. And like, he's doing it for this girl. And it's more about him leaving home and, and graduated and going off with, uh, with who he loves to kind of pursue his career and less about the band making it, which that was a interesting, uh, you know, difference of, of that genre, which again, I, I do like so much. So yeah, this, this movie I thought was super charming, great music. Like you said, um, really fun watch, fantastic acting across the board from all the mm. the young actors. I mean, I just love when a when a movie casts so many young characters and all the actors are just on the top of their game. It was just it was it was great. It had a lot of good chemistry. Um, and yeah, I thought this movie was was very charming. And and thank you for putting it on here. Now I can say I've seen two John Carney films. I have to go back and see see some <laughs> other ones. <laughs> this yeah, I actually I mean I liked ones, but. This is probably my favorite of his because mm-hmm. it sort of really rang true. And I mean, I, I used to listen to this music all the time after. It's I great this soundtrack. Movie. Great yeah. soundtrack. Um, yeah. yeah. This guy, the the lead uh, was in Coda. Uh, oh, really? Guy. Yeah. Oh. Who who's who she's fallen for. Oh, oh, OK. Not growing up. So oh, wow. I'm happy oh, to see him there. Nice. Because he was so good in this movie. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. I'm sure he did other stuff, but I hadn't seen him in anything since. So when I saw him, he has a very interesting name. <laughs> uh, and I mean, more power to him that he didn't change his name. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick to your guns. Hey there, it's Alex. If you like the review and discussion Kron and I just had, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Movies That Shaped Us, to get full episodes. Every other Wednesday, Karan and I cover a topic around important people, places, events, and moments in our lives, and then explore it through three of our favorite movies. Subscribe right now or follow our podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts via the link in the description below. Hope you join us for the journey.